I'm Alain Boublil. I write the book and the lyrics for musicals. And uh, my well-known works are Les Miserables, mainly, and Miss Saigon. My expectation to see what Guy Answorth has been doing with it. I know him from other shows because we've been working together in the past. And uh, I think it's his first, first time he does a, a big thing like that on his own. And I cannot wait to see. Uh, and I know from what I hear that apparently he's done it. I started working on Miss Saigon because the composer, my uh, partner and friend now for 50 years, was obsessed by the idea of updating the opera Madame a Butterfly. So we were looking for what period in time we could retell that story of a misunderstanding between two countries which reverberates and becomes a misunderstanding between two young people in love, which to both of us was like a very both tragic a moving and incredible love story which we wanted to tell with new younger characters in a different setting. For that we've been looking for years where to to locate it and my partner Claude Michel Schoenberg one day came upon a picture of a young girl on her own maybe seven or eight she was very young and she was walking on her own uh, barefoot toward uh, Tan Sanut Airport, which is the airport of Saigon, at the fall of the war, when the Americans left Saigon and when most of the people who have been helping them during that war, who, who were protected, protected by them, knew they were going to be killed by the arriving Viet Minh Army, which were the new masters of Vietnam, because the American had been defeated. So this girl, her tragic destiny, when he saw another picture showing the girl handed by her mother to an unknown American soldier who was leaving the country forever and telling her, because she was born from her, having made that child with an American GI. So he was worse than anything. He was a buidoi, which means she was a girl of a mixed parentage. And all these children were destined to finish at best in a re-education camp or to be killed. So she wanted her girl to have a, a destiny elsewhere. And she was saying, take my child. Imagine a, warm, a mother handing her child to an unknown man and saying, find her father. It was nearly impossible that this would happen and we wanted to study, to work and to write and compose about the fate of this young girl. And this is what Miss Saigon is about. Mm -hmm.